previous episodes, we have created a switching part of a Rack Fusion Live over here. We have also recently looked at how to create the um, the camera control side of the Rack Fusion Live. We actually set up three cameras, two Panasonic cameras and the Canon camera. We managed to make a camera selector so we can choose between them. The Panasonic cameras are sharing a single layer because we want the same options up here. So this is all in place and we inherited Tally from the ATEM switcher. We did all this setting up nice constant so it's easy to just change the information bits and pieces that you want. If you wanted to add more camera selectors for more cameras, it would be possible in this way. Uh, explored master behavior. So a lot of exciting things has been covered in the previous episodes. One thing that is very typical is that you want to adjust more than just uh, four settings for any PVC camera. So having multiple pages of settings is something that is uh, typical. You always find it on Skyhoy's default configurations. And we also want to integrate that in this case. So um, this is uh, what we'll do now. We'll build out the, uh, the pages for these. For the pages, we only want to work with the behaviors A, B, C, and D, or the encoders, basically. And uh, what we have done previously was to uh, drag, uh, hold, shift down, drag across, right click, and then we can create pages here. So that's basically what I want to do. Notice that I, I was on the Canon camera page. So I'll just say, okay, I want to have three pages here. Now for the selected behaviors, it's a pretty neat thing to be able to move them into the new pages. That's a neat way to get them out of the like ground layer here. So I would strongly recommend that. We also want to pick a variable name and here we want to pick the same variable name for both the Panasonic and the Canon pages. And I'll show you why in a moment. So let's just pick the same and we'll say um, cam menu. That's, that's the name of the variable that we'll create. I press submit and now we have a bug in this version of Reactor. That means I need to click outside and then press confirm and it creates a variable and it has also created these pages. And notice that the definition of behaviors A, B, C, and D has now been moved into one of these layers. I just wonder which one it would be. So if I click here, it looks like this is the one that has a reference to a Canon camera parameter and the same on B. And then on, on C and D, it is pretty likely that it is empty or it is just showing dummy content. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. If I go to cam menu, and by the way, let's just go to the Canon camera. So I'll just click this one so you can see this layer, this root layer, and also layer uh, page number one is now enabled. And I, um, yeah, so I see Kelvin degrees up here. Now, if I go to that variable cam menu and then I change it, you can, oh, actually that's not happening. Uh, why is that not happening? If I click here, oh, it made copies on these layers as well. Okay, so the behaviors I have there are going to be the same. Now, um, this is where you would go, of course, on this one, and then you would change this to something else. Let's just quickly see if we can find a different thing like shutter speed in the Canon camera. So we did that right there. Now, if we change this over to, this, to the other page, you see that it's showing a shutter speed and on that page, it had Kelvin degree. So basically, I don't want to go and give you 12 behaviors set up because you can do that yourself. But I want to show you how to create the navigation that gives us now three pages that we can go through using the cam menu variable. And that's what we got right here. But we have no way of controlling it just yet. And this is what we'll come back to in a moment. I'll go down on the Panasonic layer and then I'll do the same here. So um, and I kind of like to let me see. If we can go out of this mode, drag across these. I have this selected. I create pages. I want to do. Actually, I'm a little bit concerned about what will happen now because it's not sure that I get the right thing. But I'll just, you know, do the cam menu variable and copy might be OK. So what do I get in here? Well, I get these pages, but yeah, no, uh, no, wait. Um, you see, we have Panasonic variables in here, and that is probably a good thing. Yeah, okay, I got what I expected, but they they got copied. So basically, I still see A, B, C, and D down here on the root layer. And conceptually, this could work. I mean, they will just be occluded all the time. Because you see, if I go over here, and if I go between um, let me see if, if I change between the two pages, notice that these are blue. That means those are the active behaviors coming from page one. As I'm changing to page two, these become the active behaviors and these are, are hidden. 
I never get to see any of that. This is why on the first example, I moved them into the layer stack. Um, now, if I removed this guy, okay, let's just try it. We can always, you know, undo. If I do this and I change back to page number one, notice that, yeah, B, C, and D are the ones that is driving the knobs here. And A from this layer is driving that knob. And that is because there's no definition of A here. So it falls through to the underlying layer that has a definition of A, and that is that one. Now we'll just undo this because I think, oh, okay, so we undid quite a lot of stuff. Okay, so we undid the whole creation of things. But let's just, yeah, we can cut this one and paste it up here. So we have A, B, C, D, and then I want to delete and delete and delete the last one as well so that we have this cleaned up. I think you understand this. Now, we want the cam menu to be driven by a menu down here. Now, what I will do is on the underlying PDC layer, I'll create that variable once again, cam menu. And it is now here. It has three values and those values are going to be yeah, let's just, you know, apply this to to a key. So I say okay, this is going to be my menu key on the PDC layer, that's fine. I want to create a behavior. I will pick my variable cam menu. Okay, step change is fine. Let's just zoom in and see what happens. Go into simulation mode. We'll just see we rotate between three values. The value is one, two, three. So what I want to do here is to basically uh, change this over to options. Um, and I'll type in page number one page two, page three, and let's just put in page four, okay? Just for the fun of, of what we're doing right now. So you can see, I, I can change between these. We see the labels here. I can also, in simulation mode, I can uh, flip through them using the four-way button here. But the idea is that this variable should actually drive the two variables up here. So make these obsolete. The thing is, as I created these pages, then this flag always defined got set. So I'll just disable that. And I'll do that for the variable up here as well. So what that means is that this value, this variable will actually not be used if it has been defined previously in the tree. And we just did. Okay, so that's interesting. Now let's see what's happening. Notice the Panasonic layers here. If I go down here and I cycle this one to page two, this one gets enabled page three, none of them gets enabled, page four, none of them gets enabled, back to page one, first one here. So you see it, it is actually working, right? Just notice what happens up here. Cycle, blank, blank, first page, second page, blank, blank, and so on. Okay, what if we go back to Canon? There at least we have three layers. Yeah, same thing. We are on, this is page two, page three, the fourth page is gone. So the, the issue is if I want to have this like global navigation key down here. I have um, I have a few options though. Uh, what you could do is to create A60. This behavior, you could create it on the Canon camera layer. That would probably be the most natural thing to do. Just create it twice, create it up here and on the Panasonic layer. In those cases, it's just gonna work. Uh, we, can, we can try it out quickly actually. So we could just go in here and ah, uh, okay. Then we would need to re-enable these two. Okay, let's just do that anyway. No, 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 I don't want to do that. I just want to say yes to this, always defined. Okay, so they are now back in town again. In other words, it doesn't matter what I do to the variable down here, but I could now, well, I could just copy this one actually. I could copy it and paste it in right here. And then I don't know if I can do it twice. Paste, okay, I can, okay. so. Yeah, that's actually great. So this little A A60 copy I made of the behavior from my global PDC layer is now relating itself to this variable, okay? And that means since this variable has the exact three options I need, it's just cycling through the three pages. Now let's go and check out what if I have the Panasonic cameras. So as I'm now pressing this, you see the A60 action right there is uh, A60 behavior is swapping between page one and page two, because that's the variable right here. Now, um, actually, what I wanted to show you is an advanced concept that we are using ourselves in our configurations. So while this is a great solution for you, 
if you wanted to say, no, I want to just have A60 define one place, which is down on the PVC layer here, it is possible to make that happen. So I'll just remove A60 defined on these two layers. I'll go back to these variables, show more, remove always define. So I'm. this is advanced class, okay? Remove those. Okay, so what we have right now is that this variable and this variable is not defining themselves, but it is cam menu down here that operates the whole thing. So now it's cycling all four values. But now comes the point. In this, in this variable, we have something called capture. And if we use that along with a function up here on the variable on Panasonic layer that is called expand scope, it means that these two, the definition of this variable will be pushed up the tree towards the root. That means if this, is, this layer is visible, the definition of this variable will now overtake this definition down there. And I do the same up here on this one and saying uh, expand scope. And what it means is as I'm now, let's just zoom out. As I'm now on the Canon camera, I am paging through page one, two, and three, because that's what this one defines, which ends up overruling what the definition of cam menu is down here. When I get to the Panasonic layer, it goes between page one and two. Notice what happens if I go to, to the Canon label uh, Canon camera and if I'm on page three, it says page three right now. If I change to the Panasonic, notice that it gets confined to page one or two and it goes to page one because that's the default since now this definition is what is, is rolling everything. So guys, that was a little bit of an ex advanced uh, um, exploration of how to um, make a menu selector for the PTC controller where the number of pages might differ depending on which camera we're using. Uh, of yeah using and uh, putting in actions for all of this i'll leave that over to yourself but now you have seen how this complex navigation scheme is achievable using reactor